PBS is suspending distribution of late-night talk show Tavis Smiley following sexual misconduct claims levied against its host. USA Today Tavis Smiley in April 2016 in Los Angeles, photo, Rich Fury slash Invision slash AP. PBS's late-night talk show Tavis Smiley was suspended Wednesday after multiple, credible allegations of misconduct emerged about the popular host slash producer. Smiley greeted the news with shock and outrage. PBS sent a statement to USA Today late Wednesday declaring that the public broadcaster had indefinitely suspended distribution of Tavis Smiley, produced by Smiley's independent production company, TS Media. PBS engaged an outside law firm to conduct an investigation immediately after learning of troubling allegations regarding MR. Smiley, the statement read. This investigation included interviews with witnesses as well as with MR. Smiley The inquiry uncovered multiple, credible allegations of conduct that is inconsistent with the values and standards of PBS, and the totality of this information led to today's decision. The consequences for Smiley mounted almost immediately. Late Thursday, Walmart which had been a sponsor of Smiley's talk show and an upcoming touring theatrical show, announced it cut ties with him. The theatrical show, Death of a King, a live theatrical experience, is based on Smiley's 2014 book of the same title and was to start January 15, King's Birthday. We take these issues very seriously and are troubled by the recent allegations, the retail giant said in a statement according to the Associated Press. As a result, we are suspending our relationship with MR. Smiley, pending the outcome of the PBS investigation. And Hay House, which distributes the Smiley Books imprint, said all Smiley projects were on hold pending an internal review. Smiley had planned in September to release Leading by Listening, connecting through conversation to transform your relationships and your business. In a Facebook post, Smiley said he was as shocked as anyone else by PBS announcement. I have the utmost respect for women and celebrate the courage of those who have come forth to tell their truth. To be clear, I have never groped, coerced, or exposed myself inappropriately to any workplace colleague in my entire broadcast career, covering six networks over 30 years. Never ever never. Smiley said PBS overreacted and conducted a biased and sloppy investigation, which led to a rush to judgment trampling on a reputation that I have spent an entire lifetime trying to establish. This has gone too far. And, I, for one, intend to fight back. Smiley is an occasional contributor to USA Today's opinion section. On Thursday, PBS released a statement responding to Smiley's outrage saying it stands by the integrity of the investigation of Smiley. PBS declined to discuss the nature of the allegations but Smiley's response suggested they involved alleged sexual misconduct. After the PBS suspension, Variety reported, quoting unnamed sources, that the investigation found credible allegations that Smiley had engaged in sexual relationships with multiple subordinates, and that some believed their jobs depended on a sexual relationship with Smiley. Also, Smiley was accused of creating a verbally abusive and threatening environment and employees feared retaliation.